White to Gainwell, out of the backfield, inside the 10, Gainwell to the end zone, he's in! Watch the formation shifts. Go from almost an empty look, and now from under center, McMillan will throw. It's intercepted. Picked off by Austin Hall. Tulane showing blitz. Here it comes. White, clean pocket. Downfield. It's caught. Gainwell again. Quarterback run game becomes a bigger factor now inside of the 10. McMillan gets a great block from Hutterson, and McMillan scores. There's the pitch, and a touchdown by Magnifico. Man coverage, maybe man free. Again, the blitz. White sends it downfield. It's caught for a touchdown. Calvin Austin, the track star defense for a second to time. Gainwell will take the direct snap. Behind the D lineman turn fullback. Gainwell into the end zone. White to the air and that's caught. Gainwell shedding tacklers still on his feet. Gainwell down inside the 15. A week ago, he's got four TD passes, 17 out of 23, almost 300 yards. Low snap. White has Gainwell. Sheds a tackler. What else is new? Gainwell to midfield, changing directions. And a little turbo boost to finish the run. 11th play of the drive. Memphis brings the house. McMillan submerged back at the 40-yard line. I like the way the front has dictated the time in the pocket. There's the blitz again. McMillan wobbler over the middle. It's intercepted. Quindell Johnson, his second career pick. They're looking for Gainwell. He makes the catch. Unbelievable. And he is into the end zone. The pressure, he didn't have a whole heck of a, a lot of help up front from that offensive line today. Floats this one downfield to Jacob Robertson. Tulane has played most of the game without Corey Dolphin and all of the game without Darius Bradwell, their top two running backs. McMillan looking for six, low throw. Mooney hangs on for a touchdown. Memphis back in the win column and convincingly back in the win column. 47-17, your final score.